Hello friends, in this video, we are talking about the famous actors who passed away in 2022. Have a good time. Ray Liotta the longtime actor rose to fame in the 1980s as Shoeless Joe Jackson in the hit Field of Dreams while also creating the tough guy persona in Goodfellas that would be his signature in Hollywood. Liotta won an Emmy for a guest star spot on ER and had a resume that continued adding roles into 2022. He passed away on May 26, 2022. Liotta was 67. Paul Sorvino Sorvino had a lengthy and memorable Hollywood career, one that stretched some 50 years. He succeeded on the stage, earning a Tony nomination for his work in Jason Miller's That Championship Season and found fame in television, notably as Detective Phil Soretta on Law and & Order. And he was no stranger to the big screen, with a resume that included roles such as Pauly Cicero in Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas. Sorvino passed away on July 25, 2022. He was 83. Maggie Peterson Mancuso the actress and singer had roles in a handful of TV series, but gained notoriety as Charlene Darling on The Andy Griffith Show. She passed away on May 15 at the age of 81. Louis Anderson the stand-up comedian, actor and writer had an impressive career that began in the 1980s. Whether on stage, television or film, Anderson's unique style captured many audiences and would succeed in all mediums, including his cartoon show Life with Louis. He would find an entirely new fan base and critical acclaim as Mom Baskets in the FX comedy television series Baskets. Anderson died on January 21 at the age of 68. Frank Pesci Pesci, pictured right, appeared in both film and television, with a resume that included roles in Top Gun, Beverly Hills Cop, Rocky, and Flashdance. The New York City-born talent passed away on February 6 at the age of 75. Sally Kellum and Kellerman's career spanned six decades with roles in both film and television. She earned an Oscar and Golden Globe nomination as Major Margaret Hot Lips Houlihan in Robert Altman's film M.A.S.H. Kellerman passed away on February 24, 2022, at age 84. Johnny Brown the multi-talented artist's career as a singer and actor spanned more than 50 years on stage and television. Brown's most notable role came in the 1970s as building superintendent Nathan Bookman on the hit CBS sitcom Good Times. He passed away on March 2, 2022, at 84. Emilio Delgado Delgado will forever be remembered as Luis, the lovable fix-it shop owner on the show Sesame Street. It was a role he played for more than 40 years. He passed away on March 10, 2022, at 81. William Hurt William Hurt's career spanned four decades, beginning in the 1980s where he would earn three Oscar nominations for Best Actor, Kiss of the Spider Woman, which he would win, Children of a Lesser God, and Broadcast News. Hearst's career continued to flourish into the 90s and 2000s, earning praise for his work. He passed away on March 13, 2022, at 71. James Olson Olson's career began in the 1950s when he would land his first of eventually over 100 television roles. The versatile actor also had parts on the big screen, such as the Oscar-nominated film Rachel, Rachel, in 1968, and starring roles in The Andromeda Strain and Ragtime. Olsen passed away in Malibu on April 28, 2022. He was 91. Mike Haggerty the Chicago-born actor, pictured left, played a handful of memorable bit parts in the 1980s in films such as Brewster's Millions, Nothing in Common, One More Saturday Night, Dr. Detroit, Overboard, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He would earn pop culture fame as Mr. Trigger, the building super on Friends, and land more roles in both television and films. In 2013, he was cast as Captain McGinley of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and most recently landed the role of Ed Miller in the HBO comedy Somebody Somewhere. Haggerty passed away on April 29, 2022. He was 67. Kenneth Welsh the longtime Canadian actor's career began in the mid-1960s, with Welsh beginning in theatre while also landing roles in television and film. He would gain notoriety playing FBI agent Wyndham Earl in the drama series Twin Peaks as well as roles in The Aviator and The Day After Tomorrow. Welsh passed away on May 5, 2022. He was 80. 
Bruce McVitie McVitie's long acting career flourished in theater, television, and film. The character actor had countless roles alongside big-time names, with credits on the resume including Al Pacino in the 1983 Broadway play American Buffalo to working alongside Morgan Freeman, Clint Eastwood and Hilary Swank in Million Dollar Baby. Many would remember him as the juror, Danny Scalertio, responsible for Junior Soprano's acquittal in Season 4 of The Sopranos. McVitie passed away on May 7, 2022. He was 65. Fred Ward the longtime actor had an uncanny talent for bringing a tender touch to the tough guy roles he played in films such as The Right Stuff, The Player and Tremors. Ward passed away on May 8, 2022. He was 79. John Aylward Aylward's acting career spanned more than three decades, which included roles in both television and film. He would gain notoriety while playing Dr. Donald and Spa on NBC's ER for over 15 seasons of the popular drama. And his role as Barry Goodwin on The West Wing added to his impressive resume that became so familiar to the audience. Aylward passed away on May 16, 2022. He was 75. Bo Hopkins Hopkins' career spanned nearly six decades, with the talented actor landing roles on memorable television series such as Gunsmoke, The Phyllis Diller Show, and The Andy Griffith Show. Although he was considered a legend in the country-western genre, for both his TV work and in films like The Wild Bunch, Hopkins gained the persona of a bad boy after his role as Joe Young in the movie American Graffiti. The beloved actor passed away after a heart attack on May 28, 2022. He was 84. Philip Baker Hall the longtime actor didn't begin his career until age 30, but from that time, he became one of the most recognizable and lauded character actors in the business. Hall appeared in film and television with roles in films such as Boogie Nights and Magnolia and television hits Family Ties, Falcon Crest, The Practice, and Seinfeld. The actor passed away on June 12. He was 90.